Welcome to Hamad's Biology Online Lecture Room. My name is Hamad Ahmad Jan, lecturer in Botany, Kurtaba University of Science and Information Technology, Peshawar Campus, Hyderabad, Peshawar. The topic of this video lecture is uh, thyroid gland and its hormones from Second Year Biology, Chapter 18. Thyroid gland. Thyroid gland is composed of two lobes located on either sides of the trachea inferior to the larynx. The shape of the thyroid gland is like a butterfly as you can observe in the diagram the position of the thyroid gland that it is located below the larynx on both sides of the trachea the pink color is actually the thyroid gland this is the right lobe of the thyroid gland and this one is the left lobe and its shape is uh, looks like a butterfly its weight is about 20 to 25 grams the connecting point of the lobes is called isthmus this portion is called isthmus It produces three hormones in active form. Number one, triiodothyronine, which is also called T3. Number second, thyroxine or tetraiodothyronine, which is also called T4. Number third, calcitonin. Tri and tetraiodothyronine T3 and T4 hormones. Both are iodine containing hormones. Tri iodothyronine contains three iodine atoms, therefore, it is called as T3 hormone. The tetraiodothyronine or thyroxine contains four iodine atoms, therefore, it is called as T4 hormone. Thyroxine stimulating hormone or TSH from anterior pituitary lobe stimulates the production and release of both T3 and T4 hormones from thyroid gland. The level of thyroxine circulating in the blood regulates the secretion of these hormones by negative feedback mechanism involving the hypothalamus and anterior pituitary lobe. These hormones regulate the following physiological effects. Number one, promote basal metabolic rate of the body. Number two, enhance glucose catabolism and synthesis of cholesterol in the liver. Promote development of nervous system in fetus and infants. They act on muscles for their development and functioning. Promote growth and maturation of skeleton. Promote normal mortality of the gastrointestinal tract.
regulate the process of maturation sexual and mental development abnormalities number 1 hyperthyroidism the over secretion of both t3 and t4 hormones is called hyperthyroidism The over secretion of T3 and T4 hormones causes the following problems Graves disease It is an autoimmune disease in which abnormal antibodies are produced that mimic means copy thyroid stimulating hormone and continuously stimulate thyroxine release symptoms of the disease high metabolic rate rapid and irregular heartbeat high blood pressure weight loss nervousness increased ventilation rate increased body temperature sweating mostly exophthalmia protrusion of the eyeballs results from graves's disease and is a classical symptom of hyperthyroidism thyroid thyroid related exo Phthalmia results from swelling of the tissues around the eye and within the orbit that develops in reaction to the high levels of thyroxine as you can observe in the diagram in section A of the diagram as you observe that the muscles around the eye are swell up due to high level of thyroxine in the blood or body and also the eyeballs are protrudes out from its orbit while in the b the normal level of thyroxine in the body shows that there is no swelling in the tissues around the eyes and also the eyeballs are normal number 2 hypothyroidism the under secretion of t3 and t4 of thyroid gland is called as hypothyroidism it is maybe due to the lack of tsh production by the anterior pituitary lobe iodine deficiency in the blood or failure of the enzymatic system involved in thyroxine production goiter is the cause of the hypothyroidism in the absence of iodine thyroid hormone level in the blood decreases the anterior lobe of pituitary gland detects the decrease and secretes more thyroid stimulating hormone in response excess amount of tsh or stimulates the thyroid gland and cause it to enlarge in size the enlargement of thyroid gland due to iodine deficiency and thus thyroxine is called goiter if there is a deficiency of thyroxine at birth results in severe hypothyroidism in infants called cretinism symptoms of the disease mentally retarded poor physical growth 
disproportionate body size, delayed maturation and puberty, infertility, myxedema, the full-blown hypothyroidism is called myxedema. Myxedema means mucus swelling in which the body weight increases due to the formation and storage of a semi-fluid material under the skin. Symptoms of the disease Low metabolic rate Feeling chilled Puffy eyes Thick and dry skin Hair loss from the scalp and eyebrows, edema, tongue swelling, constipation, lethargy, mental sluggishness. Myxedema may result from lack of iodine. The thyroid gland enlarges and protrudes out. This condition is called endemic or colloidal goiter. Number third, cortisonin. Thyroid gland also secretes cortisonin. This hormone plays a direct role in controlling extracellular levels of calcium ions. High calcium ions concentration in blood causes stimulation of the synthesis and release of calcitonin. While low calcium ions suppresses its synthesis and release. Functions of calcitonin It regulates the extracellular calcium ions concentration. When the level of calcium ions increase, calcitonin promotes the deposition of calcium ions into bones. It inhibits calcium ions absorption by the intestines and decreases its reabsorption by the kidney tubules. It also inhibits potassium ions reabsorption in kidney tubules. It is most important in childhood when the skeleton grows quickly and the bones are changing dramatically in mass, size and shape. Abnormalities If deficient Calcium ions are not deposited in bones and high blood calcium ions level causes disturbance in the function of muscles and nervous system and may lead to kidney stones. Thank you for watching the video. Dear students,